What's up, guys? Doing here? <laughs> um, gonna bring you a UU battle. Um, getting back to my stomping grounds. Um, I realized that my OU Voltron team was primarily UU Pokemon. So yeah, I just converted it to a UU team. Um, I'm running Manic Trick in place of Jolteon instead of Raikou because it also gets uh, an electric absorbing move, which is nice. Um, unlike Raikou, with, who will once his um, Dream World ability gets released, and then Zoroark in place of um, what's his name there, um, Landorus. And Zoroark, I'm thinking about taking out because there's it's not doing everything that I hoped he would. Um, I'm trying to run a physical set on him that could be my problem um, because he's primarily a special Pokemon and his physical move pool is really weak um, so yeah that I, whenever people lead with the Togekiss against my Ambipom I seem to take it out like every time with that fake out covet covet combo that seems to be quite common um, I'm going to go ahead into Manic Trick here, thinking he's going to go for an electric move, and he does. So I'm going to go ahead and go for an, a Hidden Power Ice uh, with that plus one spec attack. Um, I'm out speed, but uh, he goes for a Heat Wave, and that is quite does quite a bit of damage to me with that Life Orb boost. Um, into Cobalion he goes. I should outspeed a Cobalion. I'm going to go for a Flamethrower, but I don't. I I mean, all right, that's fine. Uh, I'll go into my Scarf Darmanitan here, and I can see him predicting my Flare Blitz, so I'm going to U-turn out, but he stays in. Okay. Um, I'll go into Ambipom. Um, he goes for a close combat, so I, I mean, if he predicted that U-turn into Ambipom, then that was a really good move on his part, but I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz this turn, and... He you know, he's just staying steadfast with that Cobalion. Um, so I take that down not without much of a problem. I'm going to go into mine now um, to take that waterfall. I'm uh, going to set up the Calm Mind, uh, see what he does. If he stays Dragon Dances, he does Dragon Dance. And uh, I'm going to Volt Switch on out here. Um, plus one volt switch should do quite a bit he gets a crit on that waterfall so that hurts and uh, I, I hit about a third um, I'll go into his elf and uh, start laying some HP ices on him um, no I'll go for the side shot because they're both neutral and the side shot gets the stab at least so that'll be a bit more and that hidden power does not do too much to me I don't know what type it is but it didn't really hurt, and he goes into Suicune here, and I'm gonna keep Psy shocking. I got a crit there to make up for his waterfall crit, and um, hardly survived that Hydro Pump. Whoo! So I'm gonna take him down with a second Psy shock thanks to that crit, and he goes into his Raikou. I'm gonna um, Psy shock. He goes for an extra sensory. Um, I'm gonna go into Darmanitan and just go for an EQ to hopefully take him out. And that'll be game. And it was. So, alright, good game. Never mind, he quit right out. So, alright, yeah, that was a pretty good battle. Um, didn't actually do too much volt turning with this team. Um, he didn't, he didn't switch much himself, so that's why I didn't really get the chance to. He kind of sent out a Pokemon and then stayed in until it died, like, like you do in game I don't really know what that was all about but you know what can you do um I can't control how he plays I just have to adapt to it myself so anyway um yeah I will keep trying to get videos up on at least an almost daily basis um so keep coming back and I will keep putting up more thank you have a nice day